Boy T Pain right here, man, and you listening to DJ Sin on Bombay Hot Radio and London Hot Radio. London, we have tonight playing at Coco. We have Mac Miller, and you know what? We have DJ Clockwork sitting next to me right now in the studio, hanging out with DJ Sin, and we just went all the way to up to Camden, picked him up, came back through traffic, saw rain, snow, sunshine, the whole journey. It was a bit crazy. Yo, DJ Clockwork, what's happening, man? What's going on? I'm here, man. Um, happy to be in London. Happy to be out here, man, in, in, in the UK. So, um, I'm excited for anything, man. We have the show tonight. Got work. What's up? Talk nice, to me. Nice, nice. So, you excited? How's yeah. London treating you so far, man? London is amazing, man. London is always dope. It's good vibes. I got up early this morning, got me an um, Americano at, uh, at a coffee shop down the street. Americano in Yeah, good Americano. <laughs> it's supposed to come out the box. Okay. Out of the box. <laughs> a hot chocolate and a panini to go. Oh my uh, God. Did you just do that? <laughs> All right. Now, but London is, London is dope, man. There's really good vibes out here. Really good people. Everyone's so nice. Oh man, it's 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 an, it's an experience. All right, so I pulled up at Coco and I'm seeing this big tour bus, double decker, chilling outside Coco. <laughs> Tell us what's going on in that tour bus, man. <laughs> A bunch of hustling, man. That's that's really what the motto is for this tour: is to really uh, hustle, get your money right, and, and perform and do some of the best shows. So really, nothing's going on on the bus but a bunch of sleeping, a but a bunch of plotting, um, and bunch of uh, masterminding. Nice, nice. Well, we pulled up at the tour bus outside Coco. K, like DJ came out, checks a couple of fans who are waiting outside the tour bus. <laughs> Gotta say what up to the people, are we? They're trying to get their little free entry into the venue. <laughs> like, yo, they're doing their thing. And you know what? It's a good. It's good to see Mac Miller and DJ Clockwork actually getting that kind of reception Word. in the UK. You know Word. what I mean? Yeah. Um, what's the next shows, man? Where are you headed to next in the UK after tonight? Um, after tonight we're going to Birmingham after Birmingham I think we're sliding to Europe so the rest of the tour will take place in Europe and we're hitting you know Germany Brussels uh, uh, Paris Norway uh, Switzerland maybe so yeah we're moving around a little bit so we'll we'll, we'll be moving to about mid-May mid-May so, yeah. yeah so we're in London we're in the UK for maybe three or four months Oh, okay, nice, nice. And then when are you back to the US after the Europe? I go back to the US mid-May. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, sorry, so, man, my going, bad. Going, going back and, and working on some music and, fin and finishing up the uh, album. So basically, busy man, busy, busy. Not too. Gotta stay May. busy. I've, I've, I've slept and rest and party all my life. Now it's really time to get to the nitty gritty. So really, tell us a little bit about Clockwork, where he comes from, man. How, what got you into the industry? Well, first of all, I want to say that um, I, my name is Clockwork DJ, not DJ Clockwork. And I'm explaining this because I don't think I really have the platform to really explain why some still confuse me as DJ Clockwork. DJ Clockwork, or Clockwork DJ, is the evolution of DJ Clockwork. That's why it's backwards. Because Clockwork is the artist and the DJing is my backbone. So DJing is what got me to where I'm at now. It's the grassroots. So that's what I want people to take. Is there? It's a metamorphosis from DJ Clockwork to Clockwork DJ. I don't take offense to it. It's... It, it's, it's tattooed on my arm, it's a staple, it's really who I am, you know, DJ Clockwork, Clock, Clockwork DJ, I'll answer to either one, <laughs> but the the new brand and, and the new name, I want people to really think about it and realize that it's a metamorphosis, and I think everyone goes through a metamorphosis in their life, so this is my metamorphosis into a higher being. Um, and with that said, what's been going on with Clockwork is a bunch of producing, a bunch of organization. I'm trying to get a lot of things put together so I can put out a, a great, sharp project because a lot of kids were asking me actually yesterday at the show when I was putting out a project. 
So that's my main focus is really gathering up a lot of songs that I've recorded with a lot of people and put them into one specific diamond and, and present it to the world. So that's really my main focus and making beats every day. It's pretty much what I try to do on a daily basis is, is make beats. Um, he yeah. basically ain't put out the album because he ain't got a sin on that yet. So <laughs> basically, he's, he's right now trying to make them do it right now and we'll let the world know how that came about later on. <laughs> you see DJ Skin with some scr- DJ Sin with some scratches so on the what, record. Yeah. What I was saying is, how is it to tour with Mac Miller? It's amazing. It's yeah. a life experience. Every time I go out, and as I get older, I start to take advantage of the places that we're in a lot more. Mm. See, when you first start touring, you're younger, you're having fun, you know, you're, you're um, going out every night, you're exploring the city, which is nothing is wrong with that at all, by no means. Don't get that misconstrued. But as I get, as I got older, um, I started to pay attention a lot more just to life and just to waking up in the morning, enjoying the full day, meeting people, exploring places you've never been before. Like I'm in London, you know, I rarely come to London, so why not grasp everything that I can grasp while I'm here and absorb it and soak it all in versus oversleeping till two, three o'clock, waking up and just performing the show, going back on the bus, going to sleep and going to the next city. So, you know, um, I completely feel that, man. I completely feel that. Before Mac Miller, um, tell us, what was what was you doing? What was you doing in the industry? How did you get into, like, the, the whole production and the DJing with artists and touring world? I, in Cincinnati, I had formed a fan base um, locally from just DJing in clubs, DJing college parties, proms, homecomings, whatever, I uh, grew a fan base. In 2008, Talib Kweli, well, High Tech, took me on tour with him for the High Tech and Talib Kweli Reflection Eternal Reunion Tour. Break that. He said he did say Talib Kweli and High <laughs> Tech, by the way, yeah? In case yes, and all you yes, school yes. people who don't know who Talib Kweli and High Tech is, if you don't know High Tech especially, you're not a hip-hop fan. You need to go research Word. and know what production really is and that soul that high tech used to bring wow you gotta do your googles <laughs> you, got it. <laughs> you gotta do your googles if you don't know but these are led these are legendary artists that we grew up on and i mean when i say we i mean 80s kids 90s kids um so they took me on tour which was the biggest thing in my life to transpire one of the biggest things in my life to transpire that took me out of ohio had me traveling all across the world meeting new people learning the transition from a club dj to a tour dj which is completely different it was a a huge learning experience um so um yeah before mac i was touring with talib kwali and high tech and right after i got off the tour with with quad and tech I was introduced to Mac Miller through Kool Aid and Frozen Pizza, through my through my old manager Sean. Shout out to Sean Heron. He introduced me to Mac, um, Kool Aid and Frozen Pizza. I heard it was uh, a Lord Finesse track, and that's what really kind of hooked me in. He was rhyming over a Lord Finesse track, so I wanted to check more music out and of course I did and we established a relationship over MySpace that's how we kind of chatted over MySpace for a little minute over Twitter MySpace yeah like MySpace (laughs) like I'm going super back like this really happened we chatted over MySpace chatted over Twitter he uh, my manager booked four dates in Ohio for Mac and I ended up DJing all four of them. And from there, we just established a relationship and we're still here, six, seven years strong. Nice, no, it's it's a beautiful thing when you see a, a relationship in the industry flourish and stay there because you know the industry is one place that can tear up anything good. <laughs> you know? Tell me about it. And without even thinking about it. So it is really nice to actually see you and Matt connected in a way where you guys are just 
doing your thing. That's you know my bro. Saying? That's Stay my in bro. your lane and keeping and keeping everything moving and functional. And like no matter what you guys do in the future, I'm sure you guys will always have a relationship because you guys seem like a very very yeah, good always. combination. That's my, you know? that's my boy. So you got the after party tonight. True. Right after Coco, they are headed to the Ace Hotel in Shoreditch. Yes. And oh my god, we were there last with Foul Munch and them, and now tonight we're gonna be there with. The Clockwork DJ. Clockwork DJ, uh, medium rare, big hands. Um, they're the ones that put on the, I'm sorry, Dark Circle. Set up the Dark Circle. They're the ones that put on the after party. Um, but I, I believe that two other DJs are DJing. Their names are Medium, Rare, and Big Hands. I hope those are DJs. <laughs> I'm misreading it off the flyer, but I hope they're DJs. But yeah, after party tonight, Ace Hotel, London, Shoreditch, five bucks, or five pounds, I'm sorry, five pounds. 10 p.m. to 3 a.m., <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anyone who can't get tickets tonight, which you should be able to get, go to Coco Boxes, Coco's box office or the website officially, and you'll find a Mac Miller and uh, DJ Clock Clockwork DJ <laughs> tickets. It's hard, it's hard now to, to, to switch it up, but I just can't no. even run my show properly anymore because every two seconds I'm rethinking the name now. It's Clockwork DJ. It makes you yeah, it's like the emergency break on your brain. Like whenever you do something different than your normal life, your brain just trips out. Like oh, I'm not used to this shit. So people are so used to saying DJ Clockwork. Now you got to say Clockwork DJ. It's like oh. You mind fucking me right now. Okay, we could not say that. Oh, I apologize. I'm so, oh, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? When I picked him up, he did look like a nice, good, cool boy. I didn't think I needed to warn him about this, but I. Sorry, man. Lo siento. Lo siento. Lo siento. Lo siento. So anyway, what have you got? What can we be excited to check out or look forward to check out on your official website coming out or something that you're dropping? Something that the audience should definitely come going. You should look for a new record. I'm I'm getting ready to drop. I'm getting ready to drop a new record. Um, can't really tell you too much else about it, but I, I dropped Beans recently, which was my um, my transitional record that this new theme, this new wave of music that I'm creating, that was the um, beginning of it. That was the introduction to it. So this next record that I'm dropping will be the metamorphosis of it and will keep the the snowball rolling with the with this theme of music I'm creating. Nice. So this next video, our next song, mm. make sure you check that out. I heard uh, well we were talking in the car and I heard you were getting into some house music. Uh yes, yes, yes. If you haven't heard the Beans record yet, it's kind of house influence. Chuck English produced it. So shout out to Chuck. Shout out to Mikey as well. Um but it's more of a house theme, really um comfortable wavy vibes so check well, out beans clockwork dj beans produced by chuck english well uh big up camacho and we're definitely going to have him play your track on s dance mm -hmm. and we're going to play it on ibiza hot radio as well um anything you need anything you want on the playlist power play send it over <laughs> are we power playing that for yeah. you, you know yeah. but just keep it clean because now i'm scared of you no it's clean i got a clean version no, i got I'm a clean version i got a dirty version <laughs> i got an acapella instrumental we put it how we how we release beans we release it as a maxi single so a lot of cats really don't even know what maxi singles are but you know right. back in the 80s 90s but that's how i wanted to uh present it because that's kind of what i came up in and i kind of remember loving to buy LPs and have you know the acapella on it so I can blend it with another uh, instrumental have the instrumental on it you know a clean version for the for the radio or for whatever and then a dirty version to just rock out so you can get all four versions of beans on my, on my website and whatever go check out on his official website and what we're going to do is we're going to share that on bombay hot radio and ibiza hot radio's websites tomorrow so you can go check that out um we also got invited to coco tonight to film my man right here playing a set yes yes um hopefully we can get a few more surprises <laughs> for you and what we're gonna do is we're going to also give you all of that on the website and his official website and everywhere once we've edited and br bring it to you you know what i mean mm -hmm. live from what? coco and ace tonight so everyone can go look forward to that if you don't know who mac miller is get to know if you don't know who clockwork dj is get to know Right. right and also my website is <laughs> my website is gotclockwork.com and you will know who I am and you will know my name if you don't by now 
Tony. Got clockwork.com. Do you know what? That's a good fact. You know what? 2016, everyone run like clockwork. Like clockwork. I'm not, I'm not into this funny business of waiting for people and like, clockwork. Life is like clockwork. Everything is like clockwork. Totally. Everything is continuously moving. And the one thing that us as humans can never defeat or never change is time. Totally. All right, yeah, listen. So. What we're going to do now is real quick. It's going to last like two minutes. All right. But this is the point. No swearing. <laughs> no cussing. Right. Even if the question's hard, no cussing. All right, no cussing. Uh, no swearing. Cool. I got you. I got a deal. You get I thought me? this was XM, though. I thought we can cuss on this. Dude, it's daytime. Oh, uh, but it's still. We've got baby mamas who listen baby to us. Baby mamas probably cuss more than I do. Baby mamas don't want their babies listening to us cuss. Babies probably cuss more than I do, man. <laughs> this world is crazy. I, I, nothing yeah, surprises not, me anymore. I'm not surprised yeah. you. No, no, I'm not. Okay. Clean, <laughs> clean. All right, so Everything I'm going to quickly clean. ask you a couple questions. Yes, sir. You have to quickly answer them in one one word, one word, okay. real quick, okay. first off the off your top of your head, innit? So, mm -hmm. don't be wasting time. No, no, I got you. Alright, cool. Um, boom, let's start it from now. Uh, old school DJs, new school DJs, which one? Old school DJs. Uh, new, new production, old production? New production. Um, EDM or back to new real music? Back to real music. Um, most most hard hitting artists so far in 2016 for your eyes. Most hard hitting artists. Yeah. Young Thug. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it going. What's <laughs> uh, funniest moment you've ever had with Mac Miller? Vegas. Vegas. Hey, I'm, you know we're going to get about. into that. We're going to come about. back and we're going to talk about that later. <laughs> um, something that you would like to see leave the music industry ASAP fakeness cool and uh, one more question uh, Kanye West greatness boom <laughs> <laughs> I like that you know what he actually just came up with the one words I love that I think quick man it's, it, when you think about something you need to say it when you think when you think an idea you need to do it you, you know it's it. just about I was trying to catch you out nah about nah it's about going with, with your, with your heart you. nah it's about going with your heart <laughs> those are answers that you want that's what you need to say alright so what you want to quickly just tell us about Vegas what happened there uh, Vegas was just cool it was just a wild moment we, actually there's a vine I forgot who did the vine but we were all pretty much chest naked in, in, in this uh, end of story that's what yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what now it wasn't, I understand it was, why it wasn't, it wasn't thug and you know no nah, no nah, it wasn't like any <laughs> it wasn't any like sus material or things going on it was just fools were just mad wasted in this club and like we almost got kicked out for like jumping into like the pool with clothes it was just crazy it was crazy it was just a wild night nice nice well listen like I said Bombay Hot Radio we got to this interview really late because of the traffic out there Mm. and everything else that was going on but it's crazy that we even got this happening today Word. and who's gonna make it happen for sure we definitely do we're hard workers out here mate you know what i'm saying we're about to clockwork this for real <laughs> but um yeah we're gonna definitely bring you what happens at coco tonight we're gonna review that we're going to give you a set from him tonight and we're definitely going to see you guys on the back end next week so make sure you guys stay tuned bombay hot radio all day clockwork you want to shout out anyone Shout out to Cincinnati, Ohio. Shout out to my family. Shout out to my baby. Um, shout out to whoever holds me down and, and, and supports what I do. Uh, shout out to all the producers and engineers I've worked with. All the homies, New York, what up? Boom. I love y'all. And you know what? Big shout out to Sean Burton because he's the one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out, shout out to Sean too. That's my man right definitely. there. Definitely. You know what I mean? Like big, big moves that we're all making happen across the world. And it's amazing that we're connecting and being able to hit up every hood to hood and be cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's get this on. Bombay Hot Radio all day, every day. You know you're tuned into DJ Sin and Clockwork mm. DJ. Yeah. Bombay Hot Bombay. Radio. Radio Bombay Hot Radio. 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 Rad